This small video should help you make use of the Theramino spectrometer. Begin by checking to see that the software has been installed on the computer. There should be an icon like this on the desktop. If you wish to install the software on your own computer, you can download it at no cost using the link shown here. Begin by connecting the USB port. Then start the software. If you find that there's no camera at the top left, try restarting the software. With the light source turned on, place the spectrometer on a stand and position it at a distance of about 15 centimetres from the light. Have the spectrometer in line with the beam of light coming from the source. Check to see that the light beam is striking the slit at the front of the spectrometer. The screen without any particular light source might look something like this. The screen shows a spectrum coming from a white sheet of paper. The next step is to adjust the orange frame so that it sits around the spectrum on the top screen. The position of the bottom edge or side of the rectangle is managed by the Start Y setting. The size Y number there indicates how many pixels the top of the frame can be placed above the Start Y settings. In other words, it determines how high the frame is. So now setting the bottom one to 40 and 50 pixels above that. For the width of the frame, go to the start X. Here we might set it at 40 and then the end X, end X at about 400. That controls the width of the frame. The next task is to calibrate the line spectrum in the lower window. Begin the calibration by clicking the Trim Scale button that's on the bottom right of the screen. Then adjust the two yellow markers so that the red on the top window lines up with the red on the lower screen about 700 nanometers, and then the blue-violet lines up with around about the 400 nanometer mark. You might have to play with this a bit. You may need to use the scroll button on the mouse to ensure that the spectrum you want fits on the screen. Once calibrated, you can press the Trim Scale button again to turn it off. Then point the spectrometer at different light sources and draw the intensity graphs for each of those spectra in the workbook. Light coming from a lamp might look like this. Here, the screen is being adjusted for the spectrum of an element. You should be able to identify the elements from the peaks or the high points in the spectrum. Here are diagrams of a number of spectra. They may help you recognise unknown spectra that you may observe during the practical investigation. 
one thing to note is that the height of the peaks can vary. It depends upon the temperature and the pressure of the substance inside the spectral tubes.